Okay guys, so in this video I want to talk about um, file structure when I'm making my mods. So when I'm making edits in Asset Editor, something I feel like I've taken for granted and that is obviously causing confusion for some of you is my file structure. So let's start with you know the file structure in general. And then once I cover that, I'm going to also talk about how I have found that I need to save my WS models for them to actually take. So let's start with the file structure. Um, what I'm working on is remaking my male Repants model. So we're going to edit Repants's uh, variant mesh definition. So in Rusted Pack File Manager, I'm going to say new pack file, right click, add from pack file. And I am going to go to campaign variants. This is the variant mesh definitions of campaign characters, so heroes and legendary lords and stuff. So I'm going to take Repants. Now, in Repants, you'll see that her head, body, and weapon are defined here. Now, whatever models you're using need to be defined here. And realistically speaking, these names here, head, body, those are not important. The name of them, not important at all. Um, it's just there as reference. So when I do my mods, um, I generally create a model entirely, so I don't break it up into two parts when it's just a single character. The only reason I would break it up into multiple parts is if I was um, like making randomization, then that would be something I would do. But since it's a legendary lord, head's gone. So now just the body. <clears throat> now all of these in the red here, you'll see their file structure. And this is important because your model, so in this case, the WS model for her body is found. So this is the model. You'll notice it's named Respance. That's because of their typo in the game, uh, at least in the game files. So this Respance body model is found inside the folder Bretonian Repants, which is inside the folder Bretonia, which is inside the folder HU1, which is inside the folder Warhammer Variant Models, which is inside the folder Variant Meshes, which is the same folder that Variant Mesh Definitions are found in. Anyway. So your model has to be in this file structure. If it's not, then it's not going to know where to find it. So I don't mess with these things. All I do is change the model. So what I need to do is make sure that I preserve the original file structure. So when I'm going to make a mod, I go to Asset Editor, and I'm going to say, all right, well, I'm going to open my reskin mod. This is where I save all of my models, first of all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open Respance. Again, it's Repance, but typos and all that. So Respance. And I'm going to open her body, because that's what I'm working on here, because in my variant mesh definition, I'm just calling to the body here. So I'm going to open the body, the rigid model. I always start in the rigid models and then work in the WS models, because the WS models are based off of the rigid model. So here's her body. First thing I'm going to do, save. Okay, this is going to ensure that her file structure, this is variant mesh, variant models, HU1, Bretonian, Bretonia Repants, and her body now is saved in the proper file structure. So I'm going to say file, save. Okay, <clears throat> now a lot of times I, even if I don't use any parts of it, like if I delete this, now I can make my mods here as well. And then when I save, it will also save it in the file structure. But a lot of times I just start by saving it, just the original one. So now I have the file structure. Now what I can do is go through and make the mod changes that I want, like the model that I want. So what I'm gonna do is, and this is whether I'm using that skeleton or not, I'm going to do the same file structure. It just helps me um, keep track of things. Okay, so now I have the full, the file already made, so I'm going to pull it up in Andy Peck, if I remember right. Variant Models HU1 Bretonia. Okay, so let's go ahead and open that. Just to save time, I've already created it. Ooh. So here is the model that I'm working on. Okay, so it's all done. What I'm going to do now is right-click. I'm going to make sure that my reskins is the editable pack. And I'm going to file, save this as HU1, Bretonia, Repants, the body. So I'm going to replace that file. Okay, whatever. So file, save. 
Okay, now I'm closing out of it. I don't need this anymore. I'm going to close there too. So now when I reopen, you'll see that this is in the cr proper um, file structure and we have the model that we're working on. The next thing I usually do is I actually change this name as well. So I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to rename this to 2 or 11 or it doesn't matter. I just take it off of 1 because I don't like overwriting the original model in case somebody else's mod is using it and they don't also rename things. So I'm going to take that off, right click, save. So now we have the body. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get this into our, um, our mod. So we'll deal with that in just a sec. So in the variant mesh definition, again, because I kept the original file structure, I'm good. All I have to do here is change the Bretonian response body to O2. I also will have to generate a WS model. If I wanted to just use a rigid model, I would just change it to rigid model V2 um, and be done with that. But I'm going to use a WS model as well. The other thing, though, is the metadata often describes the noise that it makes when they're just sitting there. They're like, rah, rah, and all that. And Repants will have a female voice if you don't change the metadata. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to pull up like Carl Franz and take his metadata. So I'm going to take this metadata from his body. This is just the human male. It's a generic enough male voice that I usually just use it. If I need a generic female voice, I use Repants. All right. <clears throat> so there, we're good. Now the general roars and stuff will be a male body and it will still be plate metadata and stuff like that. Okay. So don't need to change anything else there. I don't need Carl Franz anymore. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this pack file in my data folder as mast mustachios um, male for pants. Okay, so it's saved now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now um, open it in asset editor because I don't like to save my WS models in my reskins mod. I just do rigid models in here. It just, I don't know. The WS models saved in there will just clog it up for me. So I just save the WS models into my actual mods. So we're going to go ahead and file and we're going to open and I'm going to find mass mustachios, male rip pants. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is now that I have this, what I can do is I'm going to save this into here. And again, because I made sure that I had the proper file structure originally in my other one, my model saved in here will also have the proper file structure. So I just right click to save. So now my model is inside there. So my variant mesh definition calling to it, well, it's calling to O2 at least, it will call to it correctly. Okay, so now that I have it saved where I want it, I close out of it. Now I'm going to generate the WS model. And like I said, when I do that, I, I have to follow a certain procedure. I have it named the way I want. I have it saved where I want. I'm now going to reopen it. Okay, I'm going to generate level of detail. So either here or here. Because it's a legendary lord, I'm going to do this one because the level of detail quality will often be really crappy um, in Warhammer 3. So with single characters like this who are really important, I want them to look good everywhere. So we have that. I'm going to hit save. Okay. Now I'm going to say tools, generate WS models for Warhammer 3. Yes. Okay, generated my model, my materials folder. That's always good. It should generate a material for all the body parts. Um, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. That's caused issues for me. But anyway, we are now good to go. We have a WS model in our mod, and that's good because our variant mesh calls to a WS model. So right click and save. So now our rigid model and WS model are both in our mod. We, even though we're calling to the WS model, we still need the rigid model in there. Um, for that, uh, because the WS model calls to the rigid model itself. But the WS model is necessary if you're going to do like um, emissives, so like glowing and ghostly effects. They're also necessary if you want the um, blood for the blood god mod to work for it so that they show blood on it. It requires the WS model. I don't use that mod personally or the um, that DLC personally, 
but for those of you who do, I still make my mods for that. So we are now good to go. Again, the big thing that I see that people are making mistakes on is their file structures are not being held up when they are making those edits. So we made sure that we have those, we have our WS model and we have our rigid model. We're good to go. This should now show in game the way it's supposed to. So anyway, hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.